Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong and welcome to the Back Office Tenor Lab. I have received a package today all the way from Germany and it's very heavy. And this is from my good YouTube friend, the Jan Beta. So if you are a YouTube fan like me of retro repair, and uh, you know I'm, I do it occasionally, I'm not, I'm not claiming to be massively good at it myself, but there are good people out there and the Jan Beta is one of the best. So head over to his YouTube channel, just type it in, the Jan Beta or just Jan Beta and uh, it will come up. Now he sent me this because this has been knocking around his uh, apartment or house or garage and I needed it. I need it for an experiment and you know I'm doing experiments with car audio and trying to interface kind of more modern systems with simpler older style systems because they're a pain in the buttocks to get working and I've been doing all sorts of different ways of doing it from building my own amplifier to trying to fathom out the digital interfaces and cutting up wires like this and buying bits and bobs. Actually luckily I have these because this is where this comes in. If you have certain vehicles based on uh, the BMW system, so that could be your BMW, Range Rovers, things like that, um, you'll know the pain of losing a DSP amp because a replacement amp is like £300 for those. You don't really get much. They have complicated 12 speaker setups uh, that seem to demand these amplifiers, but basically I'm not sure how many channels the amplifier actually amplifies, but it's got built-in crossovers and all sorts, and it just it's a nightmare. And they, they, they went through sort of 18 revisions through different companies and they break frequently. So I've set about trying to use a standard amp and you can because fortunately the radio seems to default back into a normal mode. If you unplug the amp from the digital bus the radio just starts performing like a normal low output head unit and if that's the case then it means you can just buy one of these sorts of amplifiers which you will set you back maybe maximum a couple hundred quid depending on your needs and you can interface that into your car. So enough talk, more squawk. So what you'll need though for this project is a splitter to split your digital, uh, well, your head unit output. So you'll go from BMW uh, output to the standard um, ISO, which are the opposites of these. And then you'll need something like this basically to connect that to uh, your amp, because this, uh, this particular amp has phono inputs. And then you have all of the masses of speaker outputs if you've got a 12 speaker setup. This is a four channel amp and you will have to use crossovers if you want that. Or to be honest with you, just plumb in your main speaker so because sound is better than no sound, because if you've got a screwed up amp, you'll have no sound right now, right now nothing works. And then just power. And all of those connections basically are already in your trunk on your BMW so you can get this working. But so thanks Jan for sending that to me. That allows me now to experiment with the project. But I'm just wondering if we could just have a quick look. And it's really difficult to show you on camera because it, it kind of doesn't fit. It really doesn't fit, but I'll be I'll hold it steady so we can. So you can hear see the on the front here you have the line inputs for the right and left here, and then you've got the rear inputs right and left. So you have these crossovers and you can have it this low pass, high pass or flat. The reason being you can split these inputs and have multiple amplifiers. So for example in the BMW you do have a 12 speaker setup. So you have the bass, the mid-range and the tweeters. You could effectively have um, two of these or three of these amps really. I'd advise two. So you could have one amp that's hooked up to the bass speakers and you'll put that in high pass mode, no low pass mode. Uh, and then the other one would be say in high pass mode. Um, that way you can split them or you can actually just say this is going to do the front high and low so ignore the front and rear part on this and you just say you're, you know you could just do one amp for the front and one amp for the back um, and all sorts of combinations and these are the sort of the little gadgets to allow you to sort of select that frequency response based on your speakers so that you don't try to send the the wrong thing to the wrong speaker but that, that's what that is I mean you can fiddle with that to your heart's content really I'm not so bothered I don't get any sound right now so I've got radio that's saying you know radio 4 classic FM or whatever it happens to be but nothing no noise at all and that's far more annoying and then on the other side here you've got 
terminals. You normally have terminal inputs on them, and nicely enough, you've got fuses, two in this case, interestingly. So what you'll have on your power, and wait for the focus, focus, what you'll have here is you see battery plus, ground plus, and REM. I'm not sure what REM exactly stands for on this, but what that normally is is the sort of ignition uh, switch, so it won't fire up the amp until it sees a signal on that. So you want that, because otherwise this amp will be on all the time, because they normally have direct to battery inputs with a thick wire. Again, if you're doing it on your BMW or Range Rover, you will have these wires anyway. Just buzz them out, have a look. I might start posting details of this on my webs uh, website so we actually have some pinouts to help you. So there's your front speakers, your plus minus, plus minus, left and right, and your rear outputs, left and right. And these are bridged modes, so interesting enough, let's see what this is. If this is a 200 watt RMS, um, so it's either spending sending 50 watts to each speaker, right? Not peak, just all the time, which is pretty beefy. You have to check that when you buy amps because you'll get like a million watts PMPO. That whispered bit, PMPO, means it's just a made up number. So you want to see exactly what is the RMS figure. So what this does though, for example, you could use this one amp to drive just two speakers. And if you do that, you just hit hook the plus and minus to here and you ignore the inner, inner bits and that will send 100 watts to each uh, speaker. So that's what the bridged mode means there. So that allows you again to do multiple configurations. So in this case, you see these writings here that say uh, rear output, front and all those. You know, th those labels can be kind of interchanged. Just consider them as four amplifiers in each unit. And if you run them that way, the two amplifiers can work together to give you more juice. Um, and that's pretty much it. I could open it up. Uh, will I? Won't I? No, I won't. I'm, I'm gonna, you can see my other video on the DSP amp Ted, and if you want to see what's in these, they're not so exciting. They're basically uh, normally some power supplies and then a bunch of MOSFETs for each channel and, and the usual gubbins. It's it's not so fantastic. Have a look on the uh, DSP Teardown if you want to see what's inside a, a typical amplifier. But yeah, thank you so much, Jan. I am blown away by this. You're blown away by your generosity, and this is going to be definitely something I'm going to be working at soon but yeah it's way bigger than you think it's going to be um, but fortunately on those cars they have loads of room full of all of their old craps uh, satellite navigation and TV tuners and all that stuff that you can just bin now with one Android tablet so you can get one of these in there and get an Android tablet or just your phone over Bluetooth and get all of that functionality right away um, that's my advice anyway and that's what I'll probably be doing so I hope that's of some use to you. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, but most importantly, comment down below or tweet me on your amplifier woes, successes, or are you just so jaded by the whole bloody thing, you just want a radio that works, so you don't want any amp, don't want nothing, just a head unit, straight to a speakers, hear some sound, and you're done. Let me know. As ever, guys, thank you for watching.